When I started at the Steinhardt Aquarium, part of my job was to help open the new Steinhardt in the new academy. When I interviewed for my position, everything was very much under construction at that point, but all of our iconic habitats, those really large tanks that are built into the building, were all set in place and, and well underway. And one of the things that I like to do when I go to zoos and aquariums is I like to figure out the access to the habitat. Like how do the keepers access this and how do they care for the animals? And we got to the swamp habitat and I was looking and looking and looking and I just could not find the door. And I commented to Bart, I'm like, wow, you guys really hid the door really well. I can usually find it. And he said, oh, there's no door. I'm like, well, how are we getting in to this habitat? And he said, oh, we're gonna come in from above and you're gonna enter into the tank. And I was blown away and so, after I recovered, after a couple seconds, I thought, okay, well, this is an interesting challenge and this will be a, a good one to try to figure out. And so I did. In preparing the rainforest, when we got to the portion where we had the flood, flooded forest habitat ready, uh, before we put fish in, we decided that would be a really good time to have a pool party. And so all of the opening team had a pool party in the flooded forest habitat and we blew off some stress and some steam in the flooded forest tank um, right before we put fish in. After the fish went in, it's a no-go. But before, we decided that we should take advantage of that opportunity, and it was a lot of fun. The Steinhardt Aquarium has what we call a cradle-to-grave approach to animal care. That means while animals are in our care at Steinhardt Aquarium, we want to do everything we can to provide the very best welfare for these animals so that they thrive and that their well-being is top of mind at all times in everything that we do. We want them to be able to have some control over their environment, whether it's a coral or an angelfish or an alligator, and we want them to have enough interesting things to do to be able to make choices about how they want to spend their lives at various points in their day. To be here when Steinhardt turns 100 is incredible. I have loved my career here and I hope to continue on caring for these animals and the team for years and years to come.